you're about to hear the recording of a man living in the afterlife. He says he was surprised to meet a woman there who said she knew him well, but he didn't know her. As he talked with her, he was delighted to learn she was a sister he didn't know he had because she had died in her infancy before he was born. Hello, I'm Dr. R. Craig Hogan, President of the Afterlife Research and Education Institute and Seek Reality Online. You're about to hear the recording of the voice of Alfred Pritchett. Pritchett was killed in World War I on August 16, 1917. The recording was made on November 4, 1960, 43 years after his body had died. Pritchett spoke in a session with Leslie Flint. Flint was a direct voice medium who sat in the dark and voices came from the afterlife. His work was tested by a great variety of researchers. All found that the recordings were not coming from Flint or from any other source in the room. They came from the afterlife. Today we have thousands of these recordings. This excerpt from Pritchett's recorded conversation describes what Pritchett was seeing when he was being shown around the afterlife by a guide he calls this friend. Anyway, eventually, um, Tom came uh, with his friend and brought me in, came over to me again. He says, I want to show you something. So I says, oh, all right, mate. So I went with him and we went outside and he took me down uh, another street. The little houses there, very attractive they was, with um, little balconies and flowers and all beautiful flowers. I've never seen such flowers. And he took me down the end of this road and we came out to a big square. It's like a sort of street square of the streets. And there was a big fountain playing in the middle. And uh, I could hear music. Oh, it was smashed. wonderful music. It was beautiful music. And uh, I thought, this is a little nice. It reminded me of the old days when I used to sit in the park and listen to the band. But this band was something out of it. it wasn't out of the world. It was. It was magnificent. Playing away there. Beautiful music. I didn't know what it was. but marvellous music and I saw these instrumentalists sitting there and they look real marvellous they did the funny thing is they haven't got uniforms on them they got this sort of road business on I thought well that looks very nice but um, I might look a bit odd in one of them outfits but um, anyway I thought I was never thinking about that now and I thought well what am I wearing now and I looked and I was wearing a suit again I thought oh yes that's right and uh, everything was going on all the same time in my mind I was probably sort of bewildered Anyway, we sat down on a little bench and under a beautiful tree, beautiful blossom on it, and I was listening to this music, and um, I was sort of being really carried away. And um, my friend said to me, he said, be awful from the city and listen to music, it's very pleasant, and I said, it's very nice. He says, you'll find it very restful. He says, you just sit there, I'll leave you there for a little while, I'll come back for you. So I thought, all right. So I just sat there and listened to this lovely music. And uh, I really enjoyed that. Um, and uh, anyway, I sat there with my eyes closed, sort of listening to this very nice music. And then all of a sudden, I had a sort of feeling that there was something, someone sitting next to me. And uh, I opened my eyes and I looked. And there was a very beautiful lady. She was really beautiful. Beautiful blonde hair, she had fair, very beautiful. She looked about 19 or 20, and I, I was really sort of taken back. And she says, uh, well, she called me by name, that's right. And I thought, well, that's funny, she knows my name, I don't know her. So she said, uh, are you finding it all very nice here? So I said, uh, very nice, thank you, miss. So she said, you don't have to call me miss. She says, don't you know me? So I says, no, I don't know you. She says, my name is Lily. So I said, Lily, I don't know no Lily. I'm sorry, I says, I don't want to appear rude, but uh, I don't know you. She says, you don't know me. And yet she says, uh, that's not surprising in a way. She says, but I'm your sister. I died when I was an infant. Cool, love. I says, I remember my mother says, talking about uh, little girl that died when she was only a few days old or something, if I remember right. I 
We have thousands of these recordings of people living in the afterlife speaking through the mediumship of Leslie Flint. We also have many other recordings from other mediums and recordings researchers are making of afterlife voices using standard audio recorders. You can listen to more of these recordings at the link in the description below. All demonstrate the fact that you will come to the end of this life, but you will never die. 